Here it is, guys. Let's see if the camera can pick this up. All right. Looks like it's focusing. I'm going to rotate this a little bit to kind of give you a sense of what I created here. So um, the narrative is you put the foam, the spray foam on the, the actual roller. You can paint it on. I put, it provides a little more control because now I'm just painting the dollops on there. Now these are going to expand. Okay. Keep in mind the spacing that you keep spaces or negative space in this case around the adjacent nodules. So you got room to grow. So if you look at this roller, if we get the light just right, let me see if I rotate a little more. It's got some really nice um, indentations. So recesses and not only the recesses as far as the depth, as far as physical dimension, the variety. There's a multitude of variety, so we won't have a repetitive pattern. So it's very important when you're drafting and creating these, keep that in mind. All right. Okay, guys, so um, got a piece of plastic here. Obviously, I just don't want to put foam all over the table. So I'll give this a shake. I'm going to unload a little bit of foam here. Lay it out. I'm going to use the Hilti foam. It doesn't matter. Hilti's got a brand. Great stuff's got some other stuff out now. Um, and as discussed, basically we're going to dip that brush in there, get it nice and populated. And you start, you start tapping. Again, I, I, I like to inch my way in and then you can get the desired effect you want. Now this is a square brush, so you got to be careful of your edges. So I'm just doing more of a, a tapping. I'm going to bring this up into the camera. I'm not going to do the whole thing for this demonstration because you guys are going to get the gist once you start. Okay, guys, so see if the camera picks that up. You can kind of see what's going on here already. Rotate that a little bit. You can see it started off. You see off to the left side, I just got a light dusting. And that's not the finished product, but I rather inch my way in because I want this roller to be very nice. Um, Take the time, you know, if one nodule gets a little too big, let it dry. You can shave it back, cut it down before you plastic dip it. The plastic dip's going to put a skin over this. So, all right, guys. As I'm back, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up this roller. We'll let it dry and then uh, we'll be back for the plastic dip. So this is what we got. This is probably a better shot. So got some nice variety again this isn't perfect but you can come back in with the second coat now I again I like to inch in on it because I'm um, pretty particular on the texture and um, I think we got a nice variety I'm gonna flip this 180 so look at that we've got some nice polypy things in there you could even use the sh uh, smaller rollers too and dedicate them uh, you know this could be something a little more polypy a little more um, you know, a little more body and volume. And uh, then you could have your more your orange peel, decomposing granite, um, things of that nature. So that's what that thing looks like. Um, so now the next step is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, plastic dip it. Fully dry, you guys got to see what it looks like up close. The next step is to uh, apply the plastic dip. I'm not going to do this in here, obviously, for ventil ventilation concerns. You should uh, wear a mask with this stuff. Um, any of this, any of this type of work, um, protect your lungs anytime you can. So give me a second. Let me put a coat on. Okay, so we've got our um, we got our first coat of plastic tip on here. You can see the yellow of the foam, at the, and you can see the white. So we're gonna let I let that dry. Um, I put it on pretty heavy. I kind of make it fill in these voids of the actual uh, um, hairs of the roller. Or the nap, I should say. So I'll let the camera kind of get a zoom in on this. Okay, so there we are, right about there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that's the area that I've got a coat of plastic dip on. But look at that texture. Um, it's not bad. Um, I actually, a lot of my jobs, this is what I use. Um, it's seamless, it's quick, very productive. Um, a little more money in your pocket at the end of the day. So, all right guys, hang tight. 
Okay, so we've got the plastic tip on. I'm not going to do the whole roller just for the sake of this video. Um, I think once you get the uh, principle, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, what I'm going to do now is, after this coat dries, what you want to do is um, put another heavy coat on, and then I'm going to, while that's wet and suspended, I'm going to roll it into the sand particles, and that's going to embed some sand. So when this goes into the um, the carbs, or excuse me, the mortar mix that has the carbs in it, and it's going to be able to sand, it's going to pick up some of those sand particles, and it actually, it reads a lot more realistic. So hang tight. Okay, guys, I got a coat of uh, Plasti Dip on, so I'm going to see if I can get some to stick. Again, I only applied it partially to the roller, so you guys get an idea. Let's see here, yeah, something like that. So you see what happened? So now I've got that sand on there and I'm gonna let that camera, see if I can get the camera to pick, pick up some of this detail. So hang tight. Okay guys, so um, this is what it looks like. You can see that sand on there, it really, it, and it's gonna knock off whatever doesn't stick, it's gonna knock off the excess. So really cool. Believe it or not, it, it, it's extremely realistic. So, all right. So listen, we're going to let that dry. And then um, once you're happy with it, I mean, again, you could play around with this. You can remove sand. You could add sand. Um, add more uh, polypy nodules or subtract, however you want to do it. And then um, your final coat, when you're happy with it, you put one final coat of Plasti Dip on it. And that will seal everything in. So stay tuned, guys. So after that dry, what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with something that looks resembles this. It's going to look just like this, lightweight. Um, you're going to see we're going to test drive it when we um, put the mud up. And, uh, you know, again, here's another example. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this uh, was useful. So you can modify it. So what's nice about this mix, again, if I want to push that up, I can push that up or create Stays. more plane changes on this side. So I'm pushing out. mud yep. to a side and I'm going to lay off. It doesn't droop. It doesn't droop. I like it. I like it. Yeah.